Alright, time to level up. People are saying I should put it into Vitality. I could do two. I don't know if I found another soul to do three, but I'll do two. That ups my equipment load. What just happened? I hit... What is going on? Dude, I'm trying to go to my equipment, but then it's popping up to level up, which I don't want to fucking do. What the hell? There's the boss. Now, I never... I didn't do this melee, did I? Didn't I just throw fucking lightning spears at this guy? So I don't know how to do this fight normally. This is going to be interesting. Okay, snap the hand. Oh! What the hell? I guess there was a hole. I didn't even fucking see it. I fell right in. I fell right the fuck in. Wow, I didn't see that at all. I had no idea that was there. <laughs> hmm. Anyone know? Uh, is there is there any downside to getting these weapons? I think I might like to get them just to see them. Like I'd like to get the the the, the lost center sword just to see what it looks like. You know? It's a trade. These spiders are dumb as shit. They're not even coming after me. Are they running away? They are. Why are they running? Totally not not chosen. Says the spiders are afraid of fire. They won't attack you if you're holding a torch. I didn't know that. Wow. The Frasia boss. Is it Freya? Frasia? I don't know how to say the name. King Jezel says that blue thing becomes a crystal later. Later on? When? Ah, you have to come back after you beat a dragon, Infiltration says. See, I don't remember any of this stuff. Hobo X says if I go talk to that man scorpion Tark now, that I will get an additional item. Okay. What skill? You've defeated my master. His master was Treha? A black scorpion stinger and a second dragon ring. <clears throat> I have no gods to pray to. But still, I pray that your journey will be safe. Huh, he really likes me now. He's like my buddy. Alright, what's the second dragon ring? Increases your HP, your stamina, and your maximum load. Holy shit. Havel, I wonder if I could wear the Havel armor set. I doubt it, but let's see. No, see, it puts me at 73. <clears throat> yeah, too heavy. Holy hell is this? Um What the fuck? Who the fuck is that? This is a Shadows of the First uh Sinner exclusive? Really? I got a trophy. Okay, so toilet anesthesia says you have to talk to him two times again in two in different locations after this. Be sure to do so, otherwise you won't be able to fight him. Apparently he is the true secret boss. Ah, upgrade Havel's armor? Are you serious? No, God! No, God, please, I'm going no! To upgrade. No! Stay. no! 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 
need, it uses Twinkling Titanite, but it gets much better. Oh my god. The weight stays the same, too. Oh my god, dude. This is so broken. Is this it? I think this is it, right? No. Fuck. I don't know how to do this, then. How the hell do I get into the castle? I thought that was it. I don't have the symbol of the king. Where the fuck do I get that from? God. So it happened, right? I didn't do that. The game targeted the other enemy while I was stabbing at one. It changed my target. I never I never changed the target with right thumbstick. I just decided to do that by itself. Oh god, this asshole's back. This why you know pancake returns. He's back for more. How much I could do? Another enemy fucking revi or, 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 or came alive, so I was fucked. If I could have one on one them, it would have been a good fight, but the fucking stupid enemy uh, came alive right next to me. All the doors opened except for one. One door didn't open. This one. Huh. Huh, I'm not sure. Maybe I gotta make another guy come alive. It won't open because the guy, no one's coming alive to kill. I don't get it. Do I maybe redo the room? I think I'll have to redo the room. And have one of them die near us so the door will open. I think so. And that's how it works, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, let us go back into that room. Here it is. Oh, this is not good. No, sir, this is not good. I was not prepared. I was not prepared. Fuck. That was not good at all. Alright, got one. sucks. It seems to me to do this, I should have known about it before I opened all the other doors. But I didn't know that that door needs an extra soul. This really sucks. This is going to be incredibly hard to do. The door opened! door open but nothing happened oh my god what the fuck well I guess I'm just gonna make a crazy run for it then what why did the door open why is there a fog why the fuck is there a fog on the door because this fucking dark spirit invaded out of nowhere? That's stupid as fuck! Come on! Dude, I don't care about this. Just, I don't even care, just kill me. Just kill me. I don't care about the invasion. I just want to fucking go do this. What the fuck is on the door? Come on! 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 Come on!
I don't care. Kill me so I can fucking go do this. Kill me. I don't care about your stupid invasion. Thank you. I don't care. I want to go into this hole and continue with my game. I don't care about the stupid invasion. I have no concern about it whatsoever. I've never been to this area. This is something I did not do in my original Dark Souls 2 run because I killed this guy. Let's see what this is. I have no idea what to expect. Zero. Dark Chasm of Old. <laughs> That didn't go so well. What the fuck is that? It sucks because there's holes everywhere. Normally with this dual wheel style, Power stance style, I have to dodge and counterattack, but it's hard to dodge because there's holes everywhere. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do. This is terrible for my build. In order to win this, I need to be a tank. I need to be heavy as fuck. I need to have insane poise. I need to have a shield to block so I can block his attacks and counterattack. Because I can't dodge here. I'm going to die no matter what. I could just try to skip him and run by him and see what happens, but I don't know. <clears throat> That's, of course, what I wanted to do. Alright, fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna skip them. I'm gonna try to run by these enemies and see what happens. This is really stupid. This is really stupid, dude. I can't see anything in this fucking room. I can't see anything. I keep falling in the holes. Chairman Caleb at a temperature. He says, since Havel's armor is useless here, equip the new Ferrum armor. It's less protected, but it's good enough that your stamina recovery and rolls will be better. With less equipment load and torches are good. Yeah, torches are good, but I, I'm not... I, One-handing a rapier is terrible. It would be very low damage output. What is this? I don't know, it's some kind of a cauldron or something. Can I light this on fire? Maybe? Yes! So what did that do? I don't know. Bullshit. Yes, I think they gave him infinite stamina, which he shouldn't have. After attacking twice, he should have no stamina to swing again. But I think they gave him t uh, infinite stamina. I got invaded here? They could seriously invade me here. You gotta be kidding. Well, I guess the invasion didn't really matter, did it? Fall, you fuck. You won't fall. I can't get behind him. He like traps me.
Come on, fall in, you fuckers. Fall in. Fall in the holes, you fucks. You can't jump across! You can't jump across! They prevent you! Even though it's on the same level, they don't they don't let you jump across. Why? Huh? Why did he drop the torch? I didn't do that. Oh my god! Again? Good, they're fighting him. They're beating his ass. Gave him a backstab. They actually gave him a backstab. This is so stupid, dude. I'm not doing this now, I can't, because this asshole is going to keep invading me, so it's not worth it. This is a complete waste of my time because of this fucking stupid shit. A dumb fucking troll. A dumb cock-sucking piece of shit, limp dick, probably a fucking lives in his parents' basement drinking Fanta and fucking Doritos, never had his dick sucked by a woman, probably gets butt-fucked by his dad, no-life piece of shit. Does it still say something's broken? What is that with the line through it right there? It looks like something's still broken. Am I blind? Or is that... When you see that icon with a line through it, doesn't that mean something's broken? All my equipment's showing full. All my rings are showing full. Huh? Oh, it's the human effigy that I burned. It means no invasions. Oh! Well, I wouldn't have known that. Alright. I got nervous there for a second. Oh my god. I don't care. I don't want to duel this guy. I don't care about dying to him. He's just a fucking annoyance of an idiot troll. What? He's so stupid. He what? I didn't have my back to him, yet he backstabbed me. Do you see why I don't want to fucking do this, this stupid bullshit with this guy? Because we all know the invasion combat is garbage in this game. It gave him a backstab when I was facing him. And as soon as my dream is, I did a 50-bit cheer, he said, nice Havel set, by the way, you can go offline. I'm well aware I can go offline. If I have to, I have to. Wow, that was fun, wasn't it? That was definitely meaningful and worthwhile. To have this guy run up and gank me from behind. Or stab me from behind. When I was supposed to be going up the lift. Wasn't that nice? Oh. Praise the elevator. Praise the elevator. Praise the elevator. Yes. Crazy on your knees. Elevator. Yes. Race me.
me to the heavens, I demand it. Raise me up, yes. I want to be raised in work. I want to be raised up, yes. Yes, please. Praise the rays. Praise the rays. There you go. Praise the rays. Praise the rays. Why not? Key to the King's Passage. I need to find the King's Passage. Where the hell is that? Could it be those doors that say you need the seal of the King? One of those two doors, maybe? Oh. Everyone's saying it's just the, it's the door at the bottom of the elevator. Oh. It's way more straightforward than I expected. I thought it was going to be way more complicated than that. Okay. Oh, there's a secret... Dude, there was a secret room there. Did you see that? There's a secret room. This isn't a secret room. This is just the room I was in already. Ah, oh, shit. Let's do it. Let's level the Havels. I'm doing it. I'm leveling Havel's armor right now. We're doing it, folks. I'm gonna become an insane monster. Why am I doing it? Because I can. What? Wow, talk about boogie mechanics there. It wasn't even near me. He seriously wasn't even near me, and the game claimed he hit me. Well, that's it, I'm going offline. I'm going offline or else I'll never get to play, because you know this guy's gonna keep fucking trolling. There you go. I guess I could burn I could burn a human effigy, right? Burn a human effigy. Fuck me! If I remember correctly, if I kill those enemies, don't can't you get Twinkly Titanite? I think you can. Alright, I believe this is gonna open up the next big room. Yup, this is it. This is the mother bitch room. I remember this room. It's huge. I believe that there's uh, tons of shit hidden on the walls, and there's a bunch of fucking mages that are just constantly spamming magic. I remember this shit. Is it just me, or does their magic seem slower? Right? I swear their magic used to be way more threatening. That didn't seem threatening at all. I could just walk right around it. Lucifer Friend says this area has been nerfed a billion times. Seriously? I wonder why they nerfed it. Did so many people actually complain that they just nerfed it? They had such a hard time with this? Because, I mean, I agree it was very tough, but it was fun to have a super challenging part of the game, you know? God damn it. I remember how I beat him last time. I spammed him with magic, which I cannot do here, so it's going to be difficult to beat him. Wow, this guy's an asshole. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, the targeting fucked up. I'm done, the targeting's all fucked up. Yep. For some reason it stopped stabbing the, the, the mage. I wanted to kill the mage in this stupid fucking game. Auto changed my target over to the fucking other guy, which I didn't want to do. So even when nerfed, this area is annoying as fuck.
Wow. What's insane about this is that he's wearing light armor. Just think about this. He's wearing light armor, right? He's got like a mage robe on. So he's got like no defense at all. But I'm stabbing him repeatedly with the fucking with the power stance, and it's it's not even killing him. That means he must have insanely high HP. He's probably like level two, three hundred. Insanely overpowered. So now I gotta waste another fucking human effigy to do this. What a fucking waste. What the? I couldn't even tell what was happening. Is the am I passing the Pharaoh's lockstone door? Where is it, guys? Cause I want to do it, but I have no recollection of where it is. Oh, why am I missing? He's right in front of me. I'm gonna die again. Yep. X King to the temperatures at the fa the phallus lockstone. It's not phallus. It's Pharaoh's. It's on the floor. Walk along the wall with a torch or something until you see it. Where? Walk along the wall. What wall? Oh, okay. Wop Boy says it's near the pillar that I tried to jump up a bunch of times. That I know where that is. God damn it, it's a pain in my ass. Well, at least they didn't break. Fuck, how am I gonna get past this stupid thing? I don't have any range. How am I gonna get past it without having my ship break? Hmm. Anyone got any ideas? <laughs> I guess I gotta try to use arrows on this fucker, huh? What the fuck? All my shit broke? Take a look. All my equipment broke. Are you fucking serious? Look. It didn't say it broke. It just said it was at risk. It did. It broke. It never actually told me it broke, but it broke. Oh my god. Well. You missed. Oh my god. <laughs> Pretty annoying. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing supposed to be? the bonfire what the fuck uh huh what is going on people are saying pancake is back what how could he be back how the fuck did he manage to invade during a an NPC speech it doesn't even make sense do I have a seed of the giants? Yes, I do. Why are you asking? Enemies react to invaders from other worlds. Oh, shit. Alright, fuck it. I'm using it. There. Take that shit. Let's see how you like that, pancake. All of a sudden, the enemies are going to turn around and start beating the shit out of them. Come on, enemies. Attack him. They're not attacking him, this is stupid. There, I'm dead. Now I can play the game again. Hooray. Now this is the coffin. If you sleep in it, you change your gender. 
Well, I don't think I want to change my gender. Actually, is there a trophy for doing this? If there's a trophy, I'll do it. I'll do it. Change genders. Very nice. The nature of your being has changed. You now have titties. Now yeah, there was no trophy. That's lame. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Should have been a trophy for this. Come on. Oh! Someone said you're hollow. Open the door now. Cell just said that. That's true. I am hollow, aren't I? So maybe I can go open that other door. Haha! -ha. Here's how you get over there. Cool. Pretty weird you had to be hollow to open the door. Look at this idiot. What are you doing? Dude, he just dropped 99 petrified somethings. I can't pick him up. I can't pick him up. My inventory bag is full. He's dropping all kinds of items. <laughs> what the hell is he dropping? He's just dropping items for no reason. He's dropping duty. 99 seed of the tree of giants. He's dropping duties. Alright, thanks. Thanks a lot for the items I don't want. Here, come here. <laughs> now get out of my game. You asshole. Although, look, he's totally not hitting me, and it's obvious he isn't. But the game is so stupid, it's, it gives him the hits anyway. The online evasions are so fucking broken in this game. He's not even near me. There's no hitbox there, and he's fucking hitting me from halfway across the fucking room. Okay, dude. Wow. Dude, do you think these guys do enough damage? What the fuck? They do insane damage with those fucking weapons. There it is. I don't know if you're supposed to ring the bells or not. I don't remember. Ah, King Jezel did a hundred bit cheer. He says, don't ring the bells, they'll summon the Reaper guys, but if you break the statues, you can't, they won't be summoned anymore. All right. They keep ringing the goddamn bell, stop that. Well, not like I could even see what was going on. The King's Ring. Got it. So now with that King's Ring. Oh, look! This ring is the symbol of the King. I can get into those other doors. So. Yeah, this King's Ring will open up those two doors, right? Isn't it two doors? Because there's one... I'm trying to remember. There's one in the fourth, the Shaded Woods, there's a door, right? Um... And there's one back at the very... the beginning. The, the giant area, remember? There's one there. I think there's three, though, aren't there? Or is there only two? Because the one in the giant area, I remember, it takes you back in time, I believe, to fight the giant from the past. If I remember correctly. I don't remember where the third door is. Where's the third door? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, there's one in Drenglate Castle, says King Jezel. Oh. 
I must have... I, I passed it, I believe. Alright, so I remember that this guy over here sells the boss armors, but... I don't know what triggers him to have them in his inventory. Oh, hello. So right now he doesn't have anything. What do I... Does anyone know what I have to do? To get him to have the boss armors? Do I have to buy shit from him or what? Spend 16,000 souls, someone said. There, I bought it. The whole stat set. <clears throat> it was the most expensive set he had, right? Yeah, it cost more than any other, so. The penal mass does equipment load plus? Yeah, it does, look. Equipment load plus. Smelter helmet, I should buy it. Alright, whatever. I'll buy it. I don't care. It's funny, because look, the helmet is worse, but it's only slightly worse than the upgraded, uh, Pavel set, right? It's worse, but keep in mind, this is plus five. If I were to upgrade this to plus five, it'd probably be, like, really badass, and it's lighter, too. No! Chairman Caleb says if you go to the vendor when you have zero souls, he gives you a transparent armor that's pretty cool. Really? Should I just kill myself then? Because I, I only have 3,000 souls. I don't give a shit if I lose them. Alright. If you're listening, just fall off the cliff and then go talk to him. Alright, watch this. Take the plunge! <laughs> With me. I'm getting hits in, but then they're blocking. That's interesting. They're trying to combo me is what they're trying to do. See? Spieglitz has tried the Shaded Woods door. I don't remember what the Shaded Woods door is. I know where it is, but I don't remember what's behind it. Shaded Woods King Door is where the game progresses? Oh. Is all these keep the final area? People are saying it's, uh... You get... Okay. Ah, Vendrick used to be vulnerable right before you killed Velstat, but that was fixed before Scholar of the First Sin came out. Ah. Greatest story never told in a 10 bit series says there's a ring in the Sunken King DLC that gives you 50 damage if your vitality stat is 9 or less. Now that's a glass cannon build. <laughs> wow! Okay then. Where are you, Fox? Oh my god! Wow! God damn, did I just lose all that health? Didn't I have a full health bar? I lost all that for dying? Are you fucking serious? Petrification maxes out your hollowing, according to King Jezel. Of course. Makes perfect sense because it was explained in the game, right? <laughs> Just like everything else in this game. It was fully explained. That's why it makes perfect sense. Yeah, there's a chest. It's a mimic. I'll say this. And it ain't Lots of cheesy flavor. A lot, a lot of combination of those kind of mellow, cheesy flavors. It's Aslatiel of Mira. Oh, shit. King Jezel says that was Lucadiel's brother. Remember she had mentioned him earlier? That was apparently her brother. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Don't you dare!
Good deal. By the very gods. What have you done? You've really done it. You'll never escape him. Escape who? He's a sorcerer. I don't know what I just did. Oh well. Oh well. A really hard invader will invade me at certain parts of the game. I, re I released a crazy sorcerer. Oh well. The fuck? It's not alive? It is. I know it comes alive. For a fact. Oh, it only goes up once the torches are lit. You have to light torches for it to come alive. Ah. Rainbow not good. Why is this guy not red? Why is he... Why is he normal colors? This is weird. He's dropping me items, but I don't want your items, dude. I don't want your items. Stop gifting me items. I have extra branches, I'll do it. <clears throat> Hit me, you moron! Killed me! So what was the point of all that besides to completely waste my fucking time? I didn't want your items and he wouldn't fight me legit. He waits for me to be attacking the fucking troll to, to hit me cheaply was that really worth it was that it made no sense let's see it wasn't entertaining it wasn't fun the evasion system is stupid it really is and he dodges everything look what why only one hit Oh my god. What the fuck? Why is he attacking the wall? <laughs> He's attacking the goddamn wall. Oh my god! Dude, come on! That's it, I'm done. I'm not playing this online no more. I can't fucking have fun. I just want to play the goddamn game. I have a million fucking invader assholes. I'm tired of this shit. I'm so tired of this shit, dude. I'm done. I'm seriously. Next time I play this, I'm unplugging my PS4. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Ah! Not another one. Oh, well, this is fun. Parries again. What the hell? Piece of meat. Look at a giant piece of meat. Ugh. I still died. What a worthless waste of fucking time. I'm serious, next time I play this, I'm not gonna fucking be online anymore. I'm tired of this. What about this? Oh fuck! Hello?
no! I got butter and I got cheese. That I couldn't taste anything else but butter and cheese in that fight. God damn it! What a fucking asshole. The fucker actually hit me, even though he was nowhere near me. Come on, hit this door. There we go, wow, that worked. I, oh my god, I rolled! But I'll be that honest, is all I can really taste is salt. I fucking rolled. A malformed shell. It says he landed on me even though he didn't. Uh, I can't move. Look, they're pulling me out. I couldn't move. They wouldn't let me out. Oh, come on now. Well, I'm dead again. Yep. I don't think I heard it. What? I don't know if I want to kill this gargoyle or not. I don't remember anything about it. I don't know why it would just be sitting there like that. Oh my mm. god, it's no hell! <laughs> It has zero it's fucking health and it still kills me. Come Very on. flavorful. Zero health. Roll, roll, roll! Oh my god! All I can taste is that first oh bite of meat and cheese. Oh my god, I roll, it wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do it after the third swing. He fucking got stuck in place and refused to roll. Wow. Third eye of the third says go back down. There's something cool to see if I go back down right now. Really? All right, I'll go back down. Let's see. Nothing there. What about what? Maybe he means over here. What is that? Wait a minute. One of the invisible guys. There's one of the invisible guys. I saw his shadow. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, piece of strictly tight night. Oh, wait a minute. How do I get out of here? I can't. There's no way to escape. There isn't. I have to use a homeward bone. There's nothing I can do. It's a dead end. That's kind of fucked up. I'm forced to use a homeward bone. Oh, man. You're right. Maz six perps has used the feather. Apparently the feather is an infinite homeward bone. Yup. The aged feather. Okay. Sorcerer Navlan. Uh-oh. People are saying that's the guy I freed from the cell earlier. Apparently he's really badass. Yes, it are. Oh, come on! Dude, this is so stupid. Uh, okay, just gonna keep exploding and knock me down. Well, all my rings are broken now. Great. What? I can't use it. I'm fucked. I have to die. I have to die because there's an invader. I have to kill myself and lose 12,000 souls. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh well. One of those shoddy game mechanics that, uh, fucking the game developers didn't think about. If you're getting invaded, but you're in an area here where you can't use the feather, you're completely fucked. How stupid is that? Hooray! I was in the menu and he killed me! Hooray! What a great invader! I was in a menu. You're so good. What a great player. That is a big fucking sword. Jesus! Oh, 
Fuck you. Oh wow! It still reached me even though the obvious visible hitbox didn't because the game is fucking stupid and fucking invading is dumb. Alright, so what if I don't fight these guys? Will they not aggro if I just walk by them? Yeah, they, they just watch me, huh? Hey, look, what's he doing? So the big guys will fight, but not the little guys, huh? Yeah, look! They're all bowing. Alright, so they're gonna roll. What? Wow! Three times in a row I tried to roll, the game refused to let me roll. That's nice. They're still not fighting me. Well, this certainly wasn't like this in the first game. In the first game, they all attacked you. Here, they're leaving me alone. Wow, this, dude, this area is way easier now that they don't attack you. You just walk right the fuck through. All right, here we go. It's gonna take you back to the past. To fight the giants that suck ass. They swing their clubs. They stomp around. They're a bunch of overgrown dicks. <laughs> oh, hello. Huh. An instant kill, even though he was staggered. That's interesting. Apparently, I gotta go back. I gotta go back again. I have to go back like three times. People are saying. Oh, King Jezel says you go to the other trees. One where one was near where the pursuer boss was. Oh, okay. Is it over here. Oh. All right, UFO ate my cat. Says in the pursuer area, there's one, and someone says, um. Someone said there was one by, by the Ballista Room. Okay, that Nana Mouse says it's by the Ballista Room. I know where that is. I remember that. Back. Wow. Okay. Well, that was fair. Why are you attacking the wrong way, dipshit? Why are you still attacking the wrong way, dipshit? You're locked onto the enemy. So stupid! Oh my god, I don't want to fight this fucking idiot. It's so pointless. Wow, that was so meaningful. A fake fucking invader. Now, can I please go back to the fucking tree? What a waste of time. Memory of Oro. What the fuck is he doing here? Oh, I see it. Just to remember. My openness. My open. I know. What the fuck is he doing in the memory? That's weird. I believe I can that did not work. No, sir, that did not work at all. I thought there was going to be a ledge that was closer. There was not. Fuck. Wow, even though I was rolling, he hit me anyway for massive damage. I kicked it up. I don't even know how that guy died. Oh, the soldier backstabbed him. Oh, that's fair! That's fucking fair! He goes into this crazy ass fucking flurry attack and then the giant hits me from behind. That's fair. Oh my god, what the fuck? Dude, I couldn't kill him. So stupid. 
Dude, you think this guy did enough fucking damage with two pokes? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Dude, I'm doing zero damage to them for some reason. I love how their shield magically blocks everything. They're obviously open, yet their shield magically blocks everything. Look! I can't hit them. The game will not allow me to hit them. person out to break all my armor what a nice person all right so does anyone remember where the sunken king dlc is i know it's at one of the primal bomb they're all at the primal bonfires right well wait one of them is at the king's door that leads to the drangle castle right one of them and two of them i think were at primal bonfires does anyone remember where I should go in order to, uh, to get to these DLCs, because I don't. <clears throat> it's in Black Gulch, Rotten Black Gulch Bonfire. Oh! I'm about to die. Yep. Uh, it's annoying, because... The problem I don't like, they don't, they're not staggering. They should be. But apparently they have insane poise. So since I can't interrupt their animations, they're getting cheap hits on me. Guys, I, I can't hit them. Fuck. Ah, King Jezel did a hundred bit cheer. He says if you if you attack their coffins in the room nearby, they all become hittable. Ah. Well, that's it. I'm done. Sucks, I gotta redo the whole fucking thing. At least I got the key though. Stupid fucking invaders, wasting my fucking time. A stupid game mechanic that shouldn't be in the fucking game. <clears throat> gotta go all the fucking way. Oh my god. Okay, so anything that's glowing red, if I hit it, I can then hit- Okay, look! Yeah, I do way less- I do way less damage now because my ring is broken, so now I gotta go fix it. Uh... Now that was bullshit. Fuck off. Guys, follow me from out fucking side. You've got to be kidding me. 
From outside. They followed me all the way in here. You piece of shit. God damn it. Well, this is fair. Oh, that's totally fair. This fucking sucks. At least I'll all be human now. of exchange? Huh? Is there a vendor down there? <clears throat> oh, look! That door that's up there. The door opened. Yeah, the door above me, so I have to go up now. Up that ladder. I missed three times. What? That's poor shit. What is that? It's fucking annoying. Wow, this is incredibly fucking annoying. I can't ever attack. It gave him a backstab even though he wasn't behind me. What a great game. He er he an unearned kill because the game gives him a backstab when I'm facing him. Yeah, what a great game. Yeah, the dual and evasion system is so great in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> it's totally not meant for the mentally challenged. What the fuck? The stupid thing didn't update. There. Duh! Backstab! Oh, stab you in your chest, backstab! Yes. Great game. How about you? Well, that actually hit me, huh? That hit me too, according to the game. Wow, it, did, it wasn't even near me and it hit me. Not even close. Again, not even near me. That was a waste. Well, whatever. My fucking god. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking with me. Alright, let's keep going, everybody. Oops. Well, I made it to Dragon's Rest, everyone. I made it. Here I am. <laughs> King Jezzle did 100 bit cheer. He says, Go back to the square block and mash X along the walls. Uh. 
Oh, uh, King Jezel says it was up a floor? Well, I can't go up a floor. Because of this. And by the way, I was mashing X the entire time I was up there. Every wall I was against, I was mashing X. I can't go up a floor, I'm done. I don't remember this boss at all. You do not deserve anything higher. I missed somehow. Well, that was quick. That was quick and incredibly fucking stupid. What the fuck? He survived? Dude, he took like no damage! Are you kidding me? He fell from that height, he took no damage. What the fuck is with this game, man? Alright, I think the save point is in this area. The bonfire. Or not. I'm getting nothing. Now people are saying I'm in the wrong area. What the fuck? How am I in the wrong fucking area again? How am I in the wrong area again? <clears throat> Sal says go down the floor, but that's what I did before, and that's not where it is. Oh, good. This fucking sucks. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. One eternity later. <clears throat> Here? There it is! What a pain in the ass! What the- Oh, uh, what an accurate hitbox! What an accurate hitbox that was! Huh? It didn't even touch me! <laughs> so stupid. Whatever, I'm rolling. Jesus. I can't see because the stupid camera keeps locking onto his ass instead of his fucking torso. Of course I missed. There we go. Oh, he didn't even touch me and I took damage. What? <laughs> I'm trying to heal! Oh my god, he's not- he's not even tough, it's just stupid. His hitboxes are fucking dumb. I'm rolling and he's hitting me through it for 90% fucking damage. Stupid. <clears throat> really dumb because if I had a different build, I'd be completely rocking. If I had a defensive build with a shield, he'd be doing like no damage. I already would have beat him. It's just my, my build doesn't have any defense the reason I'm dying. Look at that hand, Lane. 
no way I can do it through that. When he does that attack, I'm gonna get hit no matter what. See? See? It's bullshit. <clears throat> it's a bullshit attack. Rolling, still hit, of course. Lame. It's just so dumb. All I need is a defensive build. I would have beat the. I would have one shot at this fucking boss. But because I have a build that's based around dodging and two-handing, it makes the boss hard. Because his fucking hitboxes are insane. And you can't fucking dodge them properly because they fucked up the boss fight. Alright, shout out to King Jezel, just did a 100-bit cheer. He says, go to the second bonfire, go back to the building with the ghost knights. There's a locked door by the entrance that leads to the optional boss. Okay, okay, I remember. That's right. Wait a minute, this isn't good. I'm in the wrong area. I gotta run. Oh fuck, I'm at a dead end. I'm at a dead end, I'm done. Is there a way out of here or what? I'm dead. Oh, there it is! Oh my god, it was right next to me! It was right next to me. Oh my god! I was right there and I got petrified. King Jezel did 100 maturity says, go back to the place where Vendrick is, examine his armor for special dialogue. This is required to get the upgraded final crowns. All right, so we have to go back to Vendrick, huh? All right, now I can go back, level up, and I guess onto the second DLC. Does anyone know where the second DLC is? Is it one of the the bonfires out, you know, one of the, the, the final bonfires, or is it the one that's out in the way to Dranglate Castle. I don't remember. Damn, dexterity again! Fuck, man. Doing it. Levels up again. <clears throat> Iron King? It's the Iron King, everyone says. It's after the Iron King. Okay. Wow, I hit him and did zero damage. What a great invasion system. This, just, this combat system sucks. Just face it, it's terrible. It really is bad. It's incredibly bad in May. Look, the guy's just fishing for a backstab. Look, I can't even hurt the fucker. I can't even hurt him. Look. He's probably like level 500. He's probably like level 500. I can't do any damage to him, regardless of the fact that I have all the equipment on that should be doing insane damage. I love it. What a great system. What is going on? I'm gonna die because the game fucked up, yup. I'm standing directly facing them, pressing L1, and he's attacking the camera. Stupid fucking game. Good job. Good job, stupid game. Attack the camera. Great. Just great. And no, I wasn't holding back on the thumbstick. I am aware in this game, if you hold certain directions, they'll attack in that, air that direction. I wasn't touching the thumbstick.
Fuck! I needed one more arrow! Do I need one more arrow to poison him? Fuck! He's going away. I can't aggro him now. Fuck! Come on! That was heavy! Oh no! You cocksucker! You cocksucking uncle fucker! Wow. This cock sucking uncle fucker. Piece of shit. Limp dick. Ass munching. Butt fucking. Hurry up. Oh my god. Why do you think I'm so goddamn long to pull a fucking lever? Of all things, it's a lever. It's so slow. Heal you, don't fuck. No, he wouldn't heal. Well, at least I got the fucking smelter wedge. Wow, he got me on my ass. Wow, I couldn't move. They comboed me. That anonymous says alluring skull would be perfect here. What does alluring skull do? Lure certain types of enemies, really. <clears throat> Let's try it. Sounds like he's vomiting. Oh, fucking shit! Ha 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 ha! Dude, he scared me. What the fuck is that? What does he have? No, really, what is that? Is that a sword? It doesn't even look like a sword. Look at it. What the fuck? <laughs> what is that weapon? What the hell, dude? Yeesh. Oh, good, I'm cursed. You asshole. I just wasted an old radiant life gem. I didn't mean to use that, but whatever. Oh, fucking shit. Really? Really? If only I could stab the guy standing directly in front of me. Wow! He did an insanely long charging thrust. Insanely long. Fall! Oh, I want him to fall. Instantly cursed, of course. Cursed again. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? Uh. Okay. You saw what the camera did, right? The camera started, like, spinning. Okay. Yeah, this is why I didn't like this DLC. This DLC is fucking stupid. It's, like, really poorly designed. It's meant to just be a troll DLC. Where, like, everything is set up to purposely annoy you and not be fair. And it really is just incredibly fucking annoying. I remember it being just like this the first time. I hated it. Now compare this to the Sunken King DLC, where all the areas were interesting and differently designed, right? And everything was... Yeah, there was challenge and there was some cheapness, but you could learn it was fair. Here it's just like, here's an incredibly cheesy-ass fucking gauntlet corridor... Where you have to face a million dudes on a staircase, it's not fair. Plus you have an NPC invader who trolls the fuck out of you. It's like, it's not fucking fun. It's just fucking really annoying. 
I don't know why they set it up like that. That's what I mean. Like it's, it feels like this DLC was designed in five minutes. They just slapped a bunch of shit together. Well, the first, the, the Sunken King was really good. Do you think he's doing enough damage? Dude, you think he's doing enough damage? What the fuck? He's not even counter hitting. It's just doing that much damage for no reason. He's not even attacking me. He's attacking to the side and the game still let him hit me. Yeah, this is fucking broken as fuck, dude. Bullshit, I'm attacking him. He should be staggered. Still stabbed me, sure. Finally killed the piece of shit. God damn it, what a pain in the ass. What are they doing? Oh shit, roll. It's still, oh my god, even for that much? Through a wall. How realistic. Killed me! It fucking killed me. Lame. A simpleton's ring. <laughs> simpleton's ring. I gotta read what this one is. What the fuck is the simpleton's ring? I gotta read this. Simpleton's ring. You become invisible while rolling. Now, I don't know if that means that you're actually invincible. Is it invisible, right? Invisible, not invincible, invisible. Huh. Alright, so I think I've done all the stuff up high, right? It seems like it. It seems like I've gone through every one of these doors now. I'm looking around, I don't see any doors I haven't been through. Oh, fucking shit! Ow! No, not again! No! Oh, shit! Again! I did it again! No way! No way! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, no! Uh... Oh, come on! Dude, that's ridiculous. Talk about reach. The guy's in the next fucking room. The guy's in the next room, and he hits me. Tried to roll, I tried. It's sometimes it's just not working. It's stupid. 
What it probably means is that because of because of the size of the enemy and because of the stupid animation of the lava coming out of it, the game it can't handle it and it's dropping inputs. Because it's so easy. It's, his swings are so wide and so slow. It should be incredibly easy to dodge it. Half the time I'm doing it and the, the fucking roll's not coming out. Wow, I was rolling. I was rolling. Oh my god. I rolled. This guy's incredibly annoying because sometimes the lava will randomly hit you and interrupt you. I rolled! Piece of shit! Oh my fucking god, dude. There's another one behind me. I think this is maybe getting a little out of hand. I missed! Dude, I can't hit him. Look! I can't hit him because the fucking controls suck. He's directly in front of me. I'm swinging wildly and it will not hit him. Even though he's directly in front of me. He'll swing to the left, he'll swing backward, but he won't swing forward and kill the guy in front of him. Stupid shit. Alright, I gotta find this bitch. Where is she? She's not there, she must be further down. Fuck. in here. There we go. I still got cursed anyway. I can't tell what's happening. I couldn't even see. I couldn't even fucking see what was happening. At least I got rid of her. Oh my god! I'm dead. I'm dead because I tried to heal. He did the one move that would have hit me from that far. He did the one fucking move that would have hit me from that far. Anything else he would have done, I would have whiffed, I would have been able to heal. Of course he does the one move that could fucking hit me. Of course. Okay. Wow! That's totally fair! 100% totally fair that he has a hitbox that's so big that it hits outside of the range of his mace. I love it. No! Look at this horse shit! None of them actually hit me. They were all stabbing, and the stab animation somehow connects with my body, even though I'm... What? I wasn't even through the doorway, and the guy gets a perfect sniper shot. What the fuck? This is so broken. Wow, I'm past him. I'm past the enemy. This is stupid shit. I'm past the enemy, past his body. His attack is this way, I'm over here, and I get hit. My god, this game is fucking shit. 
I'm sorry, but these hitboxes... I told you, I hate this DLC. I really like Sunken King. I hate Iron King. This DLC sucks. It was designed... It was very unoriginal. It's designed just to be annoying rooms of, like, gauntlet bullshit. And so look at that. What? Look at this. It doesn't even make sense. What? I mid-roll, still get hit. Okay. Bleh. Oh, bleh. Bleh. Roll, roll, roll! Roll, roll, roll! Roll, 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 roll. Oh no! Oh! Uh, I really hate this fucking DLC. I'm not even kidding. I this is my worst. The my entire experience of Dark Souls 2. This DLC I hate. I fucking just detest it. It's not fun. All the other DLCs, all the other content of the game I love. This is, I hate it. It's shit. I said it, I said as much in 2014, I still stick with that, with that sentiment. I think this DLC sucks. I'm only doing it for the sake of completeness, but it is not fun. There, get that, asshole. He still hit me. Wow! Well, the door's open now. The alluring skull had no effect whatsoever. Even though I already used it in this DLC before and it worked, this time it had no effect whatsoever. That's nice. Open this up quickly. Something clutch ring. Well, random lava killed me. Random lava spew of bullshit. Yes. Ow. Should have dodged to the side. Tried to dodge. That attack sucks. It never gets. Whatever, that's bullshit. Bullshit. What? I was rolling both times. Bullshit. You know, I have all these resins and shit. I wonder if I should apply resin to my maces for extra damage. I have a million of these fucking things I never used. What do I even have? All these stupid urns. Dark damage. Charcoal, so fire damage, lightning damage, magic damage. I wonder if lightning hurts him. Hmm. Poison? I'm going to try poison. It's probably not going to work, right? Oh, you can't. It won't let me use it. Look. It won't let me use any of these. Why not? Because I'm dual wielding? <clears throat> what about now? They won't let me use them. I don't 
don't get it. It won't let me use it. And no one is explaining why it's not working in the stream chat, by the way. They're all just talking about absolute nonsense. <clears throat> oh, okay. Voltage Max says my weapon already has bleed. And you can't stack multiple effects in this game. I don't understand why I'm still getting hit. Oh, come on! Dude, he did a third incredibly delayed hit. That's that's basically a bait to to kick people healing right there. That's bait to hit people healing. That is bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. His swings, they designed his swings to have a really long not only hit box, but also like a really long duration of hit. So even my rolls, if my roll isn't timed pinpoint accurate, it hits through the roll. You see, I'm still in the roll animation, but I'm taking damage. How the fuck? What the fuck? You saw how far away I was? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here. I was way the fuck out of the visual range of that attack. So once again, Dark Souls 2 hitboxes, which extend the visual range of all the attacks in the fucking game for no reason, of course. God damn it. What? Oh my god, really? Really? I'm rolling away and it interrupts my roll and still hits me with the stupid area of effect bullshit. Oh my god! Oh my god! I was mid-roll in an invincibility frame! Horseshit! I was mid-fucking roll in an invincibility frame, it still fucking got me. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here. I seriously can't heal. I can't hit. He gets a hit every time I heal. Can't heal clean. I tried to roll, by the way. I'm dead. Couldn't do anything. Leave me alone. I got no shit to deal with here. Leave me alone. I couldn't even get to the fucking boss because of this stupid bullshit. It's always great when they let you let someone invade a hell-like fucking memory with an optional boss. I mean, from software, obviously, obviously we're thinking when they made this. I mean, it's not like they were just totally sitting there with fucking thumbs up their asses. Morons. I rolled, it didn't do anything, it dropped my input completely. It dropped it again! Twice I tried to roll, it didn't roll. It dropped two inputs. I don't know what's going on, man. Ow. 
Of course. Of course, at the very end, he changes his attack pattern to this plunging attack that I'm not ready for. And then he kills me when I'm healing. Of course. Someone keeps telling me there's an illusory wall on the elevator. I could check that out, I guess. I mean, there's no reason not to. No, not there. I don't get it. What wall? The other elevator, not this one. This one here? Aha, look at that. Holy shit. Well, I didn't get in. <laughs> I didn't get in it. Dude, I never would have found that. Another two. Look at my equipment load now. Damn. I'm trying to get that equipment load up so I can do great sword power stancing. So let's see something here. Let's assume I just remove all my armor. Okay. <clears throat> what if I wanted to do great sword power stancing? Can I? What do you guys think? What should I try? Law Center and Drake Blood. It says Pinkdom. Oh my god, look at this. Damn, a double slam. Holy shit. This is such bullshit. Okay. This is so stupid. I don't know. I don't know what I want. She doesn't do anything else. She just does these weapons. Get the Drake Ultra Greatsword? It doesn't have high requirements. I think I will get it. It makes sense. I'm gonna get it. I got it. Oh yeah, wow, it does upgrade well. Look at that big jump already. Whoa, it uses the Petrified Dragon Bone, which I've never used. I have a million of them. Holy fuck, did this thing upgrade big time. Look! Look how much damage it's getting every time I upgrade it. Holy fuck. It's already doubled its damage. I'll be around. And of course we got the usual idiot trolls in the stream chat talking shit. Who's not upgrading the best weapons in the game? You wasted it. Wasted got the drink so it meh 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 Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Hard to tell. I think I want to use the Lost Sinner Sword. Whoa. Fruz says that the Lost Sinner Sword damages you every time you hit an enemy. What the fuck? I didn't know that. Oh, forget that. I don't want a sword that's going to take away my health. Fuck that shit. Rockstar says I should equip the Royal Soldier's Ring. <laughs> it gives me more uh, equipment load, right? People are saying don't equip the Stone Ring. It's useless. Then what should I equip? Ring of Blades plus one? <clears throat> or should I do Ring of Giant? I can't do Ring of Giants. You know what? Enough of this stupid shit. There. Done and done. I've had enough. Before he breaks all my fucking equipment and wastes my fucking time. Fuck this idiot. What a fucking dumb fuck. Wasting my time. What I get? The Ring of the Embedded. What is that? You see various benefits, but at the cost of increased damage taken. Huh, it doesn't actually explain... It doesn't explain what your benefit is. It looks like it's going to up my equipment load to 124, but it doesn't explain what the other ones are. What do you guys think? Ow. Ooh. 
Whoa! Oh my god! Gee! Do you think that sword does significant damage? Jesus Christ! I'm not gonna pick up any items because I don't want any items. I don't want your items, dude. I died of poison. <laughs> I died of poison after all that. Tomfoolery, I say. Tomfoolery! I need to bow. Mm, yes. Alright, well. At least that wasn't too bad, because I did touch the new bonfire. What? Oh wow! Dude, if my character had attacked the right direction, I actually would have hurt him. But he's an idiot and he attacks the wrong direction. Because the controls suck. Wow, he rolled through that late, too. Whoa! Dude! I didn't even have my hand on a button, did you see that? I didn't even have my hand on a button and he did our uh, uh, L2 attack. Okay. I didn't even have my hand on the button. Whatever you say. Uh. Oh god! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? I never went that way. I gotta check that out over there. I never went over there before. Let me kill the sniper guy, though. Of course I missed. Oh, no! What the hell is this? Ow. I have no idea what that was. Oh my god. How am I supposed to hit these? And they're guarding an item. I wonder if it's any good. Wow. Oh my god. I couldn't dodge. It wouldn't let me. Uh, dude, this sucks. There's no fucking bonfire, and this is pissing me off. I don't want to keep running back here. This is fucking bullshit. Oh my god! Oh! God damn it!
Dude, I can't kill him. It wouldn't let me kill him. What is going on? Ah! Seriously sucks. I don't want to fucking do this run ever again. It's so boring. I can't get past him. I'm done. They decided to have him run in the corridor this time and I can't hit him in the corridor. This fucking sucks, dude. I can do. I couldn't get past him. I couldn't hit him. Oh, yeah. That was fair. That was so fair. Because, you know, I was locked onto him, trying to attack him. My character attacks in the wrong direction, which you can't control, and then he gets an instant kill. That was fair. Couldn't get past it. I decided to hit me multiple times, stop rolling, then start rolling again, and hit me multiple times again. How fair. That made perfect sense. That made perfect fucking sense. Oh no! Damn, man. Fuck. What the fuck? Whoa. What? It did zero damage. No explanation why. Nothing I can do. Lame. Okay, I made it inside. Fuck. He fucking came inside. I didn't even know I could do that. Oh. That's fair. That's totally fair. Totally fair that he puts me in a, a lightning fucking stun lock, and then a little guy walks up and slaps me and kills me. Totally fair. I love this part. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Uh, do you see why this is the worst part of the fucking game by far? It's by far just terribly fucking designed.
is so poorly designed. You have to be an asshole to think that this was well made, this part. You have to be. Someone gave me a, a, a tip in the stream chat. They said, if you just walk towards a wall and you go right, you could get to the, to the, the thing. So how do you, how, where is that? They said, go to, they said, walk in a certain direction so you can hit a snow wall and then hit right. I don't know where to go though. This way maybe? Go forward from here. Forward. Left, this way. Okay. What? Dude, how did he do that much damage? Dude, that's insane. That did insane damage. Possible to kill. It's so fucking stupid. Like, oh, I'll go head up with it. No, well, it's surrounded by lightning. You can't touch it. Oh. Well, that's fun. Static Mesh Wave says if I use the Santier Spear, it will destroy the horses. What the hell is the Santier Spear? I'm assuming I have it. No, I don't. I don't have it. What the fuck's the Santier Spear? <clears throat> You get it in Doors of Pharos. Nah, I never got it, I guess. I missed it. Yeah, because I didn't open up most of the most of the, the walls and doors of Pharos, because when I was there, people in the stream chat were like, all oh, the equipment here sucks. You don't need it. Bullshit. What? Oh my god, dude! I didn't touch L1 at all! I didn't fucking touch L1 at all, and he swung. <laughs> okay. It's completely unfair. I hated it the first time, I really hate it the second time. By far the worst part of any Dark Souls DLC ever made, right now. This game sucks. Seriously. This DLC is terrible. This fucking part of the DLC is so badly made. There's seriously no easy way to even do it. There's no trick to it. It's complete horseshit. This fucking sucks. Marky Mark did a 10 bit cheer and he says, Mr. Ed doesn't play around. Mr. Ed can eat my ass. I can't even get to the goddamn boss. I haven't even gotten to the boss once yet. Because they made this so badly. Like, how, what were the fuck were they thinking? They thought this was good. This is fun. This is very well made. Yes. We put all our time and effort into this DLC. Fucking retards. Three years later, still, if I ever met the people who worked on this portion of this DLC, I would squarely kick them straight in the nuts before I even said hello. I would just literally just ball kick right to the fucking nuts. Because that's what they deserve. Because they're a bunch of fucking assholes. Oh, of course, another one spawned. See? I don't want to do this anymore. I'm already... I already hate it so much. Look, I already hate this part so much, I seriously don't want to do it again. I once again have no desire to complete this part of the DLC because it sucks so bad. I don't even know what just happened. I didn't do that. I 
rolled. I rolled, but he's too fast. As soon as I saw him coming towards me, I pressed roll, and it didn't fucking roll because it's, he's too fast. I'm zigzagging back and forth, and he still hits me. I'm zigzagging back and forth, and he's still hitting me with the lightning. Wow, I'm rolling, I still get hit. not die. Oh, I'm done. It's over. That's it. You spawn two. It's three times as fast as me. And it can fly. And it can shoot lightning. That's the problem. Move. See what I mean? He's too fast. He should be. He should be half as fast, and then this would be fair. Now, oh, I'm gonna do a lightning spell that you're trying to dodge. It hits you. Now I can do another lightning spell before you can even do anything else. Fuck you. No, seriously, from software. Fuck you. Whoever worked on this. Fuck you. Why is it doing so much damage? The first time I fought it, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't do that much damage. So they increased the fucking damage of this boss. It's not bad enough that it's such a nightmare to get to it. Let's increase the damage it deals. Wow, we're smart. Where are their summons? I don't see any summons here. I would like to summon an NPC right now, but I don't see any way to do it. Look. There's nothing here. Nope. There's none here. <clears throat> Look, there's no summons. Nope. Ah, what's this? Abyss Fiva. Who the fuck is this? Abyss Fiva. Abyss Fiva. Who the hell are you? There's another one. Who's this? Manhunter O'Hara. Who are these people? How many summons can I have? Two, three, seven. Vengarl! 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 Alright, you guys ready to kill some fucking horses? Seriously. I had enough of this shit. I just gotta be patient.
Got him. Oh. Fuck them. Goodbye. Thank you, summons. And the right of the is that it? Such is That's it. He didn't give me a reward. I thought you were supposed to get a crown or something. Oh, I gotta kill Vendrick too. Ah. So once I kill Vendrick, then I'll get the crown. The no hollow crown, I guess. Uh, I think I need to light the torches though, right? If I just go in, I don't think I can do it. I think I need to light the torches first. You have to light a fire in each area. After that, you can fight Dark Lurker from any of the three areas. Okay. Lame. From what I don't understand, there's a game mechanic where there's infinite invasions at the Dark Lurker areas of the game. I don't know why From Software uh, built the game like that. I have no idea. It's really lame that they did. And I already, there were like people in the stream chat lining up to invade me. The bottom line is, I don't have enough fucking human effigies to deal with this shit. So I'm just, I, I went offline so that I could finish the Dark Lurker, okay? Once I'm done with the Dark Lurker, I'll go back online. But I'm not going to burn through all these fucking human effigies and have to keep grinding for souls to get more human effigies and never finish the Dark Lurker. Because then I'll just never see it. I'll never fight it. So enough of that shit. Wow, I couldn't do it. I had stamina and the game wouldn't let me roll after the third swing. What do I do, guys? I lit the cauldron and I killed all three NPCs. Do I just drop down here? I don't know how to leave. This is what I didn't understand last night. I had it done and I didn't know what to do. Yes, I dropped down. Okay. Roll! Oh my god! This is fucking crazy! What? What? Nothing hit me. Dude, nothing hit me. What the fuck? Wait a minute. Do I have to kill all these NPCs again? I thought people said I could just go fight the Dark Lurker, but what the fuck? What's this? I don't want to have to redo this again. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Why do I have to redo the fucking thing over and over? That's stupid bullshit. Oh my god! Heal! I almost had him. All I needed to do was heal, and I could have got away, and I could probably could have killed it with two more hits. But of course, this one decides to do the of course melee behind me. Of course. How about this, you old fucker? How about you open the door without me giving you a human effigy? You old piece of shit. Or how about this? If you don't open the door, I'm gonna push you off into the fucking corrosive area down there and let the fucking things have their way with you. Asshole. Seriously, what a dick. He demands a human effigy every time I want to go in here. What a piece of shit. I fucked up. I had him. I had him, I fucked up. I was supposed to only swing one stair and I would have to dodge his foot.
Of course, idiots in the stream chat are saying that I looked up strategies. No, I did not. I don't know what I'm doing. I just figured stay near the foot, hit the foot. When he does flame, you gotta run under him. I remember that from the first time I ever fought him. You gotta run under him. I remember that. Oh my god, really? I couldn't, I couldn't run, I tried. It wouldn't run. That was weird. What? I couldn't open the door. He wouldn't even do it. I did it a second time, he wouldn't even open the door. It wouldn't go into the animation. Stupid as fuck. Oh my god! I didn't know where I was. <laughs> what a way to die. What a way to die. Oh my god, I didn't know I was at the edge. Wow. What? Huh? Absolutely nothing hit me. Absolutely nothing hit me at all. Are you kidding me? Nothing touched my body. No fire, no foot. I just died. Wow. That was insane. And I got that on camera, dude. I got that on camera. Nothing hit me. I just died for no reason. Wow. The masked guide says I should try the rapiers. Should I try it? I'll give it a shot. Alright, so this is the true end game of Dark Souls 2, everyone. Um, one thing that people reminded me is that if I go back to where Frasia was, there should be a cool dragon memory to check out. So I think I'm gonna do that. Quick. Very quickly. I don't remember where the fuck it is. I can't remember this anymore. Brightstone Cove Seldora? Where the fuck is that? I seriously don't even remember this shit anymore. Here it is. Here it is. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Spin the web, any side, catch your feet. Just like that. Look out. Here comes the Spider-Man. If it weren't for that invader, I would have made it, but the stupid dark sorcerer invader fucked me over. Completely fucked me over. <laughs> Oh my god. The big fucker followed me. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so annoying. Just let me fucking get to the goddamn door, you stupid fucking game. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Alright, where am I going? I don't I don't know where to go for the end of the game. I have no idea. First bonfire at the Dranglaic Castle. There's a door out to the left you have to wear the king's ring. Okay. Ow. It's 
she, she slowly drains her HP. What the fuck is he doing? Uh... Oh! He's throwing an insanely huge fucking spirit bomb! Ow, I'm about to die. Oh, what? That didn't even happen before. Roll, roll, roll! Oh my god! That was so cheap, it was open. As soon as I went to hit him, he fucking went to high burn mode and he almost insta-killed me. Oh, he's done. Spin to win! Oh! I bow to you, the viewers! I remain here, patiently. The throne will certainly receive you. But the question remains. Would you want to live? Light dark? Or something else entirely? I don't know, what, what is this? Look, there's a door? Or there's this, I don't know what's what, I have no idea. People are saying walk away, everyone's saying walk away, so just leave the room, don't sit on the, don't go over here. The door is the new ending. So that must be the throne, and that's probably what I did the first time I played the game. So go this way. Alright, let's see what happens. Leave the throne. Yes. Cool. I like that. Oh, now we get the credits. Now we get the credits. So, in Scholar of the First Sin, he is the true final boss. It's not Nishandra. That's cool. It was good. I'm glad that I played it again. You know, I only played it. I only played it when it was new, and I played the DLCs when they were new. That was before they patched and changed everything, too, right? Like people were saying when I was fighting the Ancient Dragon, it used to be a one-hit kill. If the dragon hit you with flame, that was it, you were done. But then they patched it so you could survive and have two hits. Um, not that I would have minded, I probably would have been okay fighting the ancient dragon, the old one, because, as you saw, usually you need to be perfect to win that fight. Huh. So I got under 300 deaths. Which is funny, though, because, you know, a lot of these deaths are bullshit. A lot of those deaths is because I wasn't trying to survive. I was trying to just rush through areas. I didn't feel like refighting them carefully. Um, early on in the game, I, I died to that fucking starter game troll like 15 times, right? Oh, uh, the dragon, too, the drake. I, I read outside of the old dragon slayer. I died to that thing like 10, 15 times because I kept trying to rush it instead of taking my time. <clears throat> That's the thing, though. People are like, oh, Phil thinks he's good, but he has 295 deaths. Dude, number one, I never said I was good. I never did. I never said I'm good at Dark Souls. I said this run 
is the best run I've ever done in a Dark Souls game. I never said I'm good at Dark Souls. Never said that ever. Number two, I'm not super serious about the playthrough where I have to not die as much as possible. I know there's people, oh, it's a challenge run. You can get through the game and not die. I don't care. I purposely died a million times during the playthrough. Seriously. So, that's why I don't give a shit. The reason I really like Dark Souls 2 is because of the varied amount of locations in the game. There's a ton. Let's think about it. There's ice, there's fire, there's poison, there's forest, there's, you know what I mean? There's so many varied locations in Dark Souls 2, and there's a ton of bosses too, a ton of them. Um, and I like that about the game, that when I played it the first time, I really felt, wow, I, I ran like the gamut of all the different things you could do in a world-exploring RPG. I fought, you know, all different kinds of enemy types. I really liked that. <clears throat> I Honestly, I actually think Dark Souls 2 does more in the variety of places you go and stuff like that than Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 had a lot of areas that were very similar. Um, you know, in fact, a lot of Dark Souls 3 areas were very similar to Bloodborne areas, especially in the early game. Um, so, I like Dark Souls 2. I don't hate it. I certainly, I don't think it's the best game in the series. A lot of stupid things like, oh, I'm attacking the enemy that I'm locked onto. I might have accidentally flicked the thumbstick. Oh, now you attack backwards at the camera. What the fuck is that? Why is that even in the game? Locked on is to lock onto the enemy, so you're always attacking the enemy that you're locked onto. That is just a dumb game mechanic. There's a few little stupid things about the game like that that I don't like. But, for the most part, Dark Souls 2 is a pretty solid experience, and I do like the game. So, okay. Alright, so, let me level up, of course. Post-game. Strength. I only got level 59 strength. I never got to level 60, so I could get the fucking Fume Knight shit. Oh well. Alright. All playthrough people have been telling me about this dual pursuer fight. And everyone's talking about it, so I want to do it. Apparently you do it at Dranglaet Castle. Oh shit. Wow. Ow! Wow! Dude, now this shit is gonna be hard. Oh no! That's, that's ridiculous! The guy didn't follow me in before. The motherfucker followed me in and fucked me over. Wow. I'm too slow. I'm too slow. I can't I can't win with these swords. There's no way. I need to be much faster. Wow, that's it. That was no way to avoid that because I had to dodge the first swing and the other guy immediately pierced, so I was it was instant death no matter what. Use Gower's rings as X spheres? What is that? What is Gower's ring? Reduces damage taken from behind. I guess that could actually help. It's true. Wow, they were kidding. Dude, massive damage reduction from behind. I just gotta turn my back to them all the time. And I'll take like no damage, look. Now that was bullshit. That's bullshit. What? That attack has never tracked before. Now it tracked me as I was moving. Okay. Well, no more back protection. 
Wow, so fair. That was luck. You're still following me. All right, one more. One more try and that's enough for me. I can definitely see why people would like this. If you're a super fan of Dark Souls, you really want to ultimately challenge yourself. I can definitely see why you would like this, but for me, nah. I've been playing this game all month. I've had enough. I beat all the bosses. I finally redeemed myself from all the shit I never beat before. So... I'm all tuckered out. I don't care about this. Look how bullshit that is. So the only reason I died is because he does this insane spell. How am I supposed to dodge the fucking dark energy? It always hits me. You know, I'm running full speed out of the direction. It still hits me for like 90% damage. That shit ain't fair. Dude, that shit is not fair. Wow, I tried to roll. This is bullshit. There's no opportunity to heal at all. Zero. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. Like I said, I know eventually if I keep trying, I'll do it. But what's the point? It's not like it's going to add anything. It doesn't do anything, so... Alright, that's it. Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Hope you guys liked the playthrough. Whether you watched it live on stream over the course of the month of July 2017. Or if you watched it on demand on YouTube. I hope that you liked it regardless. And that is it for Dark Souls 2. Will we ever return to Dark Souls again? I don't know. I've now done a run of Dark Souls 1 and 2 this year. I have no plans on doing Dark Souls 3 again anytime soon, that's for sure. So, uh... Alright, folks. That is it. Thank you for watching. Peace out.